Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand very important concept about the motion. Okay, distance and displacement. We already discussed, but now we are going through one activity here. Okay. So see in diagram here that one. Okay. This is the home or house of Sital and Prashant. Okay. So Sital and Prashant are siblings. They are brother and sister. Okay. So Prashant used to go school directly from home. Okay. Like and it covers the thirteen hundred meter of distance. Okay, Prashant goes directly home to school and it he covers thirteen hundred meter of distance. And Sital, she used to visit Sangeeta's house first. Sangeeta is the friend of Sital and she travels about five hundred meter from the path A. That path A is nothing but. the distance from sital's home to sangeeta's then they together walk to the school through the path b and they cover 1200 meter of distance to reach the school understood everyone so the total distance traveled by sital will be 500 plus 1200 will be 700 right so this is the 700 meter is the actual path traveled by Shita, but the shortest distance between Shita's house to school will be thirteen hundred meter, right? Everyone. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes. So on that basis, we are going to understand the one activity here that we have to cover first. That one. The first example that we already gone through the straight line distance between house of Shita. okay and sangeeta is 500 meters along with the path a and that sangeeta's house to school is 1200 meter i am just underlining part okay the important concept the important content we can say also the straight line distance between sangeeta's house to school is 1300 meters so this is the shortest distance mean displacement suppose very important now huh? suppose sital takes 5 minutes to reach sangeeta's home so we can say 500 meter in 5 minutes okay to reach sangeeta's house and 24 minute to reach school means another 1200 meter of distance she covers by taking 24 minutes of time right is it everyone yes sir yes, yes. so on that basis we have few like uh, some here we have to cover so sital speed along with path a path a means that one this is the path a path a okay here she cover 500 meter of distance in 5 minute so the speed equals to distance divided by time so distance we have 500 meter and time we have 5 minute so 5 1 is 5 and 2 0 so we have 100 meter per minute right so this is the answer means the speed of sital along with path a will be 100 meter per minute now second condition for path b we have to calculate the speed of sital so again we have distance divided by time so distance is traveled by sital is 1200 meter and time taken is 24 minute if you will solve that it is 12 1 is 12 and 12 2s are 24 and see here we have 100 so that 2 and 100 is going to cancel by 2 50 times so 50 minute per sorry 50 meter per minute will be the speed of sital along with path b right everyone yes sir yeah now we have to calculate average speed of sital from reaching sital's home to school so it is Total distance traveled divided by total time taken. So total distance will be five hundred plus twelve hundred will be seventeen hundred, and total time taken will be four uh, five minute plus twenty four minute will be twenty nine minutes. So seventeen divided by twenty nine. So it is will be fifty eight point six meter per minute. So this is the average speed of sital from. Uh, so if she is traveling from her home or her house to the school now we have to calculate velocity 
velocity is what the shorter distance see she traveled 1700 meter but actually she is 1300 meter away from her house okay so for velocity we have formula displacement divided by time so displacement is 1300 min, uh, meter and time total time taken will be 500 plus sorry 5 minute plus 24 minute total will be 29 minute if we will solve that we will get 44.83 meter per minute so this is the velocity of sita okay so this is again very important beta understood everyone understood okay so i want everyone have to take a screenshot for that yes sir uh, from pa okay so here we have path b okay see in path b c travels 1200 meter of distance right and she takes 24 minute 24 minute beta so we have to calculate that see uh, we have to calculate both by 2 so uh, that 12 So twelve one is twelve, and we have two zero, and twelve twos are twenty four. So we have hundred divided by two. If you will calculate that, two fives are ten, and we have one zero, so it is fifty. So it is fifty meter per minute. Understood? This is the yes, yes. speed of Sankital from reaching Sankital house to school. Yes. Yes. Sir. 